In this video, we are going to see how to send birthday wishes on SMS. So let's say that you have the data of all your employees on any spreadsheet here, Google Sheet. So you want that the entire sheet should be checked every day if there's a birthday and then an SMS should be sent to the person automatically. Now, how can this be done? For this, you will have to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, once you have scheduled that the workflow should run every day at a particular time, your action applications would be Google Sheets and Twilio. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see tabs sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user simply sign in if you are a new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks now since i already have an account here i'm simply going to click on sign in here we have reached the all applications page let's click on access now for pabli connect and here we have reached the dashboard of the application on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow let's click on this and here we have to name our workflow. So here my objective is that I have some information of all my clients or customers or employees on Google Sheets. And now I wish to send them both their wishes on SMS. Like basically I want to send an SMS to them. So I'm going to write Google Sheets Twilio integration. So I'm going to use Twilio to send SMS. Let's click on create. Now here we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now I'm going to here first schedule the workflow. Basically, this is a feature by Pabli which helps us in scheduling this workflow. So I want it to run every day at let's say 10 o'clock in the morning. And now I'm going to click on save. So here we can see that how often do you want to run your workflow? It's saying every day this is the UTC time which is around five and a half hours prior to our time, local time. And this is the local time. Once this is done, now I want to fetch the current date so that I can map it with the date which is there in my Google Sheet. So I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to use a feature by Pabli which is date time formatter. Let's click on this. Now the action event here would be to fetch the current date. Let's click on connect. And now the basic format that I want to select is date, month and year. Do I want to include the time and response? No. Let's click on save and send test request. So here we have received the current date. Once this is done, now my objective is that I have to search for all the data which is there in my Google Sheet. So now I'm going to add another action step over here. And this time the application is Google Sheets. So let's click on this. And the action event would be to look up spreadsheet rows. So basically it's going to look up the entire row. Let's click on this. Click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. So to set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection and connect with Google Sheets. And here we have to choose the account. Once done, let's provide the authorization by clicking on continue. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. This basically means that Pabli Connect is now connected with Google Sheets. Once done, here we have to select the spreadsheet and then the sheet. So I have already created the spreadsheet. The name is birthday details and the name of the sheet is sheet one. These are the column fields, name, date of birth, year of birth and phone number. So now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and here birthday details. The sheet has already been captured. Sheet one is there. Now the lookup column. Which particular column do I want to look? I want to look at the column number B. So here I'm going to write column B and then the lookup value. So here I have to map the value, but the thing is that here I have received my date of birth in date and month format, but the current date with which I have to compare is in a different format. So here I'm going to add another action step, which is a feature by Pabli, name is text formatter. So let's click on this. I'm basically going to split the data so that action will be split text like let's click on connect now here the text to split so the text to split is this current date the separator is hyphen 
and then which segment do I want? So I want basically all the segments and I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now to understand why we have split this data, I'm again going to take you down. I'm going to set refresh this connection, select the existing connection. So once done, I'm going to come here and the lookup value would be this date and then again I'm going to go here and month. Now this exactly is in this format now, right? So that it would be able to look up the spreadsheet. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and uh, do I want to include headers and response? Yes, sort value is top to bottom. Let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the response. So I'm going to now toggle this towards the left. Why? Because I do not want simple response. I want advanced response. And I'm again going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the entire information in an array format. Now, why have I received it in array format? So that I can actually segregate it row wise now. So for the segregation, I'm going to add another action step. And this time the feature is iterator by Pabli. Let's click on this. Now here the response result, the array has been captured. Let's click on save and send test request. So basically here the response that we receive is in the first expanded data set of values which can be mapped in further steps. Here you can see that we have received the data only of one particular row. So my next action application is to send an SMS to the person. So here I'm going to choose Twilio. Let's click on this. And now the action event would be to send SMS message. Let's click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Twilio account. Let's click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need this information. And we can receive this. For this, we'll have to go to Twilio account. And as I come down, this is the information. This is the dashboard. I'm going to copy the account as ID. Go back here, paste it over here and here and then the authorization token is this so copy this go back to public connect and paste it once done let's click on save to set up this connection here public connect is connected with twilio now the body of the sms so let's say that i wish to write dear and now i need to map the name of the person so i'm going to go to iterator go to the name so this is the message that i wish to write once the body of the sms is done now the sender's number so sender's number again you are going to go to twilio and this is your twilio phone number let's copy this and this is your sender's number and now we need to add the recipient's number. Again, we are going to map the data. We are going to click on this, go to fifth step. This is the number of the person, the recipient. But here you have to make sure that you write the country code along with the plus sign. So plus nine one is the country code for me. You can write it as per your country. Now let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that yes, we have received the information. And at the same time, here is the screenshot of the message that I have just received. This basically means that this entire integration process is a success. So I hope that you have understood this well. I'm again going to take you up and exactly explain the entire process once again so that you have a clear understanding of the same. So here we started with our trigger application as a feature by Pabli which is scheduled where we had scheduled this workflow to run every day. Then we had chosen few features by Pabli. One was date time formatter to fetch the current date. Then the text formatter to split the text. Then the action application was Google Sheets where the action event was lookup spreadsheet rows. And then we had chosen another feature by Pabli which was iterator. And finally the action application was Twilio where the event was to send SMS message. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt you can refer to the same workflow it is given in the description box. You can always clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this if you have any other advice or suggestion you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.